Chad Moyer with you at the Iowa Ag Expo, visiting with some of the exhibitors. We're visiting with Bryce Reynoldson. Uh, he is with Adaptive Ag. Bryce, thanks for visiting with us here today. Uh, a, a unique technology that you are showing off at the Expo, uh, it, at, and it's funny how how things progress, right, in, in the technology and development of monitoring agriculture. Tell me how your company got started. You were really in the, uh, in the bin monitoring. That's, that was kind of the first goal, huh? It actually, back it up, it started in the in-bin grain drying system that was developed, um, putting supplemental heat into your existing grain fans and aeration. Within that, it got developed to putting a plenum sensor to monitor and control your temperature humidity and static pressure. So with that, we can, we can count the CFMs that are going in and now exiting your bin, monitoring the moisture we're either taking out or the possibility of hydration putting in. So that was the start of the company, but it's so interesting how uh, you have developed and you really, from that goal, have gone beyond, haven't you? It, well, it really started with the drying and it's created into that. We started monitoring existing cables that people, that producers had in their bins. We can read anybody else's in-bin cables. Plus we have our own um, halo head LiDAR system that can read temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels in the bin. That, that's kind of created out of this. We can monitor and control, turn anything on and off based on the parameters that you want selected for your in bin process. Well, let's talk about that bin monitoring because that is really important. The sensors that you are using in bin can tell you a lot what's about what's going on, right? Yeah, so, so our, our newest tech at the, with our bin halo, with the CO2 technology, when the CO2 starts moving, there is some kind of activity going on in that bin. And the producer can see that in real time. So, okay, we've talked about uh, the, the supplemental drying, how that's turned into monitoring bins uh, in, in grain storage, but it's amazing how technology has changed and adapts, and you, you go places that you didn't expect, and that was the case uh, where you start uh, doing field level, uh, uh, where you're starting to monitor, or not monitor fields, but really track what goes on in the fields. Tell me how that happened. So then we, we started up, we got our Visual Farms web-based app where you can map your fields, uh, draw up a crop plan, look at weather to the day, to what's going on there, and map that and put that to your bin storage information. So we have our Bins Plus app built in this where you can track all your bin inventory. Absolutely. I, I got a question for you just about how technology develops in ag you know, over time. Uh, what has it been like for you to be a part of the research and development, you know, finding a problem, coming up with a solution and, and getting to the level where you're at now. What has that been like for you? <clears throat> so my role in the company is I, I'm the one out here doing trade shows, talking to producers and seeing what they are wanting and what they're needing. Taking that information and taking to our guys who are working on this stuff as we speak. So stuff that's getting translated today might be in effect a month from now where it's a very fast moving company, but it is based on producers' needs and wants. Isn't that great? It's been good to talk to you, uh, Bryce. Appreciate the uh, time and the information, okay? Thank you. Again, we've been visiting with um, Bryce Reynoldson. He is with Adaptive Agriculture. He is one of the exhibitors at this year's Iowa Ag Expo in Des Moines.